So we're going to make a little pinwheel here. I tried to make some Mardi Gras colors. So we're going to make this pinwheel using the Shape Builder tool. And here's the key with this. I am going to make a shape, fill it in quickly with a color, send it to the back. Whoops, I pulled that off, of course. Send that to the back. And you'll notice that that is not a white line around the outside. You'll notice that that is a clear open space. Okay, so that's always the age old problem. How do I get that without, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna take these and move them out of the way. I'll pull down a guideline so I get a center point. I will make a circle and make a duplicate to make my little petal. Select these two, Shape Builder Tool, and get rid of these shapes. And I'll add those together just because something was happening. All right, so now I've got my petal, and then I'm going to increase the stroke and give it a gray color just so I can see it and increase the stroke weight too much, but I need you to be able to see that. All right, so now I'm going to use the trick that uh, we heard this morning with Illustrator, and I'm going to hit my R for rotate key, and that's going to give me the rotate tool where I will option click or alt click where those guidelines meet, and I'll click. I get the rotate box. How many degrees are in a circle? We're going to type in 360, the slash key, and then we're going to type in 10. Now, I'll be careful to make sure preview is on, and I typed in the wrong slash. What did I do? 360 divided by, oh, <laughs> wrong slash, <laughs> divided by 10, it's math. And there it is, and I'm going to hit copy. And then the Command D, I call it the do it again command. So we've done it again, Command D. So now you'll see that I've got this little pinwheel. And the problem always happens to be the first shape and the second and the last. I need to get those things looking like one's overlapping and tucking underneath the other. So I use the Shape Builder tool for this. So I'm going to select the shape, zoom in a bit, and select all of my items. Now, Shape Builder tool. I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool and click and drag those two shapes. See that? By doing that, I made those two look like it came up to the front. Now, I could go around the whole circle and do that same exact thing, but then it's all going to be green. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to combine all of these together and color all these leaves at the same time? Yeah. So now we're going to use the other way that Shape Builder tool can color your objects. I've double clicked on that Shape Builder tool. Again, this is all written out for you. And I'm going to pick the color not from the artwork, but from my color swatches. I also have a little check mark that says, oh yeah, and I'm going to give you a cursor swatch preview so you know what color you're going to put in here. So I've got those two checked. I'll click OK. And now I'm going to come over to my colors in my swatches panel. I've chosen a family of colors. And look at what I see above my cursor. I've got three little dots or, or squares that show me the color that is going to be used when I click on that shape. And now I'm going to go use my arrow key to go to the next color. Click and drag, arrow key, click and drag, arrow key. And you see that I'm going right around that pet, those petals and I'm just adding those areas together as well as giving it a color. There we go. All right. Now, the last thing we're going to do to this is we're going to take that gray area and we're going to cut it out so that we have an open area in the middle. So we're going to use that merge command. Remember that merge that we added these gray areas? We're going to add these gray areas together. So I'm going to select all of these petals and then object menu, path, down to the outline stroke. Now, when I outline the stroke, I'll zoom in closer and you see I've got a whole mess of stuff here. Okay, I've got a lot of these gray shapes, but what the merge command does, remember, the merge command goes and finds every single shape that has the exact same gray color and makes it one shape. So I'm going to come back and zoom down just a, just a little bit here and return back to my Pathfinder panel, hit merge, watch that. All the gray items are now one shape. So I'm going to click the direct selection tool, click away and click right on one of these gray shapes and pull it off. I've actually used that gray shape as part of a logo before. So I'll zoom down a little bit and there you can see that that gray shape is kind of cool. But really what we're looking for is what's left in its wake. We've got these little petals, which I know that the stroke is a little bit thick here for you to see that gray, 
But that's an easy way for you to get rid of that overlapping uh, stroke that used to be there.